Good morning, you guys. Today I am going in for my baseline, so ultrasound and blood work. They're going to check to see um, if I have a dominant follicle starting to form. And then throughout this cycle, they're gonna watch that dominant follicle. And when it gets to about 21, 22 millimeters, they're gonna have me do my trigger shot. So we are doing a natural frozen embryo transfer this round. So I'm gonna be on barely any medications, just my trigger shot, and then I'll be taking HCG three times, days three, five, and eight after I trigger. And this little one is coming with me to the doctors. So we'll see how this goes today. Is that funny? Yeah. I've brought her along with me before and she's done great. So hopefully same for today. Throw them in, make your wish. One wish. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Put it in. Uh oh, I don't think it went in. Where'd it go? Too bad. Pick it up. Okay, now put it in the water. Come on, Ro, we gotta get going. Did it go in? Yeah. Good job. All right, baby. I made the wish. Did you make your wish? Yeah. Did you wish for something good? A star. A star? So I did my ultrasound and blood work. I won't have the results till later. I did talk with one of the nurses and she said that everything on paper looks great, but my doctor's gonna review the ultrasound pictures and then they'll decide from there. So if everything does check out great, I should be going back in about five or six days to uh, do another blood work and ultrasound to see where my follicles are at. Um, and to check my levels and then I don't know if I'll have one more after that or if they're just gonna tell me to trigger that day we'll have to see I guess but so hopefully everything checks out good and I do still have if you've watched my previous videos I always have this like black hole in my ultrasounds they call it a cul-de-sac cul-de-sac I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right um, but it basically is a cyst that is outside of my uterus. So it never before has been an issue. So I still have it. We shall see if they think it is an issue this time. Hopefully it's not. Um, I don't know if it's the same size or if it's any bigger. And I feel like I'm starting to get a cold. So that is kind of a bummer. But it is what it is. And this little princess did such a good job in there, didn't you? Why a mad face? What are we going to do now? Are we going to mommy and me dance class? You don't want to go anymore? Okay. Well, now we're going to go into a mommy and me dance class and I will keep you all updated on what my nurse says.
Rosie is down for a nap right now. I'm just cleaning. Um, my clinic called, and of course I missed it, but they sent me a message. So today I am on cycle day five, and I went in this morning. My estradiol is 38, and my progesterone is a 0.4 right now. So everything looks good so far. I didn't get a chance to talk with the nurse. Like I said, I missed the call, so we'll see if she'll call me back. But um, based on the message, everything looks good, and I'm scheduled to go back in on Monday. So today's Wednesday, so Monday I'll be going back in for another ultrasound and blood work to check my follicle growth. So that's where we are now. So we're gonna just work on starting to build up my lining. So. Stay tuned. Almost forgot to end the video, but I'm going to call it a night. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.